Hey Sweetsters, thanks for coming back to my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't. This is my project for etched glass. What you'll need is your Cricut machine, your Cricut design space, vinyl, a glass item, rubbing alcohol, a brush, painter's tape, and armor etch. I'll have a link to in the description below of all these items. Please like and subscribe as well. Thanks guys. So on my design space I have the Dodgers logo. I also put my Jessica Sweets logo on there too as I want to add that to the bottom of the glass. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and stick the vinyl onto the mat itself. I want to make sure that it is on there pretty strong so I don't have to worry about it coming up in the machine. I'm going to go ahead and complete the steps needed on the design space. Once it attached to my Cricut, I'm going to go ahead and load my mat and press go. Now this I'm going to speed up for you because it does take some time to go through all of this um, cutting. And you can kind of see on my little Jessica Sweets logo, it was a little too small, so it kind of messed it up. We're going to go ahead and see how well it is at the end. I may not use this one. I may just go ahead and try it again later. Here you can see the cutout of the Dodgers. Now let's go ahead and remove the vinyl. I like to turn my mat upside down and peel. That way the vinyl doesn't roll up while I'm peeling it off. You want to take your weeding tool and you're going to go ahead and weed out the letters. And this is because it is a stencil, so it's not like a vinyl sticker that you would want to keep the letters. We're going to take off the letters so that we can go ahead and do the etching. Make sure you don't remove the center parts of the letter like the O's, the D, G, E, or even the D. We're going to go ahead and weed out the swish marks, or at least that's what I call them, and then the baseball on the top. Now sometimes this takes time, but just be patient. And next I'm going to work on my little logo. Um, I'm not really liking the logo very much. It didn't come out. It kind of started peeling off. So I'm pretty sure I won't use it, but let's go ahead and just kind of play with it a little bit. Yeah, it takes everything off. No, we're going to go ahead and scrap this piece. So I'll go ahead and try another one later, maybe a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut out the stencil I want to do a little bit extra than the square that I have that way the square itself is going to be the stencil we're going to weed out the outline then grab your transfer tape we're going to place the transfer tape right on top of the vinyl stencil and use your tool to make sure that it sticks very well onto the transfer tape. Grab your glass. Now with the glass I did clean it with the rubbing alcohol so that it's very clean, no fingertips, sorry, fingerprints or oil. Now we're going to peel off the backing of your vinyl. Keep this piece, we'll use it later in the tutorial. And again be careful for all the little letters and the inside parts that we don't want to have removed. Those are very important for the design. Now we're going to place it on the glass. I like to have it to where if you're holding it, you can see it out. We're going to start from the center and work our way out to the sides. 
we want to make sure there's no bubbles. If there's a little bit of bubbles in the vinyl itself, it's not a big deal because, again, that's not staying on the glass. We just definitely want to make sure there's no bubbles near the letters. We don't want that etching cream to come seeping out. Peel off the transfer tape. And then we're going to use a tool again to make sure that there's no bubbles and the edges of the letters are stuck on very well to the glass so that the etching cream doesn't go in and smear. Here's the etching cream. Now at this time I should have put painter's tape on the um, vinyl itself and you'll see why in a little bit. But let's go ahead and put six minutes on the clock. We're going to go ahead and dab some etching cream all over the stencil and on the letters. I like to go up and down and side to side. You'll see here I went ahead and I accidentally got it a little off of the vinyl and I tried to wipe it away. It's going to happen a few times in this tutorial and this is why we need the painter's tape is so that it gives us more space to play with and not have to worry about getting it on the glass. So you'll see that I'm going to go back and forth over the design multiple times with the etching cream in different directions. This is just so that we can make sure we get every nook and cranny of that stencil covered in etching cream. And again, that's why you want to make sure that there are no bubbles. That way the etching cream doesn't get under the vinyl and end up smearing the design. You're going to want to repeat this process continuously for those six minutes. Once your six minute timer goes off, I'm going to show you what else we will be doing after that. You want to wipe off any etching cream immediately, but you can see even with me wiping it immediately, it's still stuck on there. It is very strong and etches the glass immediately. Keep reapplying until that six minutes is up. Now this is fast forward, so we're not going to actually sit here for a full six minutes um, putting this cream on. However, you just want to make sure that it's fully, fully covered. and I think we're almost there. So while you're watching, if you guys can be so great and like this video and also hit the subscribe button, that way you can get updates on all our upcoming videos that I'll be posting soon. You can also leave me a comment down below on what DIY projects you would like me to do next. Now our six minute timer has been up, so what we're going to go ahead and do is start dabbing on the etching cream for the next part of it. Um, just dab it until you don't see the letters anymore. Here's my 30 minutes on the clock. And don't worry, this isn't a waste of product. Later after this 30 minutes, we'll go ahead and put it back into the container and just dab, dab, dab. All right, now we're gonna let it sit for the 30 minutes. And what I'm going to do here is take the item to the sink and wash it after the 30 minutes. But first, after it sets, we're gonna go ahead and scrape the cream off and put it back into the container. Scrape and put it back into the container. And then I also use the backing of the vinyl stencil that I made to help scrape off a little bit more. Again, more is better when you're putting it on and you want to try and get as much of it off so that it lasts longer for future projects as well. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and take it to the sink. I'll be right back with the washed cut. Alright, 
So here we go, it's washed. You can't really tell too much that anything's happened, but let's go ahead and dry off this glass. Make sure there's no water. Then we're going to slowly peel off the vinyl. Be very careful again, but again, you don't have to worry as long as it's fully washed, nothing's gonna smear. You can use your weeding tool to pull out the extra little pieces. Man, I really like this design. I think my boyfriend's going to really love it. And then just for design, I went ahead and I put a blue paper inside. But you see here, this is all where the etching cream came off the vinyl and etched the actual glass itself. So if we went ahead and used the painter tape like I was supposed to, <laughs> it wouldn't have done that. And here's the finished product. Thanks guys, I hope you really enjoyed it. Again, please like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social media sites as well. I'll have the links all down below in the description. Thanks guys. Have a sweet day.